Hello gorgeous! Today's video is about do's and don'ts of summer styling, how to combine class and comfort while it's boiling hot outside. I will look into six most common style mistakes when it comes to summer styling and mostly important show you how to fix them so that you instantly elevate your outfit, look classy and put together without sweating to death. And for record, it's about 35 degrees today while I'm filming in Belgium. So all the outfits I'm showing to you are actually heat proof. So bear with me. And for those who are new to my channel, I would like to let you know that I have created a special style portfolio for different heights and body shapes with a very straightforward, easy to use styling hacks and key winning silhouettes, which you can get absolutely for free by going to the link under this video, answering two simple questions about your height and your figure shape and get it immediately directly to your mailbox you will get a detailed illustrated guide with the key winning silhouettes per category, tops, bottoms, outwear, very straightforward, easy to use styling hacks to achieve the most flattering effect for your figure shape. And I have also included outfit formulas for different occasions. It's a very easy and very handy tool to go shopping or to declutter your existing wardrobe to understand which silhouette suits you best, how to create the most flattering outfits for your figure and your height. So please don't forget to go to the link after watching this video, get the guide and start using it to create your impeccable style. I would say number one don't when it comes to summer styling is to go for really tight fitted bottoms, such as skinny jeans, tight fitted crop trousers like a typical Capri model or tight shorts. And to be honest, I see it quite a lot pretty much everywhere. As you see here, I'm wearing light bash skinny jeans with a t-shirt and sliders. It's not bad, but neither flattering nor interesting in terms of style. Tight jeans accentuate my bottom, whereas contrast striped t-shirt breaks the silhouette in two and shortens it. So the best alternative for white skinny jeans is white silk trousers. Wide leg, straight leg, doesn't matter. I think they are number one must have when it comes to summer capsule. They're super light, absolutely breathable, absolutely flattering and elongating for the silhouette and so chic. In my first outfit, I paired striped slightly flared trousers with a waistcoat and white slides. The trousers are actually in viscose, but they're so light and cool, and because of the loose fit, they're so comfortable even for very hot weather. Tonal dressing and vertical stripes elongate the silhouette, whereas waistcoat with a v-neck accentuates the cleavage, adds structure, and make the outfit more polished and pulled together. And another example is striped satin trousers with cropped cotton shirt and slides. Satin trousers are absolutely breathable, super comfortable. Vertical stripes, straight leg and fluid fabric elongate the silhouette, whereas matching bag and sunglasses elevate the look. This outfit is absolutely heat proof because I wore it in over 38 degrees heat, but at the same time it still looks chic and polished. As you see in both outfits, I swapped t-shirt for a structured top, which helped me to add structure to the silhouette, elevate the look and make it more polished and put together. I know there is a big fear for layering, especially when it comes to summer styling, because layering is mainly considered to be the way to make your outfit warmer. However, layering can perfectly work for some outfits as well, because it really adds structure to your outfit, it makes the silhouette slimmer and leaner, it conceals the areas of your body you feel less confident about, pulls the look together, and it can perfectly work for hot weather as well if you go for the right fabric and fit. The first look, white tank top and shorts, is not bad, but very simple and lacks a bit of structure and style. To elevate it, I added a light cotton vest with patch pockets. Adding an extra layer to the outfit not only adds structure and makes the silhouette more put together, but also helps to conceal areas you don't feel confident about, such as love handles or a little tummy. Because the vest is made of super light cotton and I kept it unbuttoned, the outfit is still very light and breathable, but more stylish and definitely more city appropriate. And another example of adding a layer without sacrificing your comfort is adding a shirt and leave it unbuttoned. Here I paired silk white trousers with crop top and cotton shirt and accessorized it with light moon shaped bag and sunglasses. 
To be honest, I wouldn't dare to wear a crop top without extra layer on top, even when it's super hot. But with a shirt, I feel still very chill, yet not showing too much of a body. If you don't feel comfortable with wearing crop top, you can wear a simple tank top and a shirt over it. It is especially interesting if you don't feel confident wearing a sleeveless top and showing your arms. Another point I'd like to stress today is how to combine two short legs in one outfit. Since we wear a lot of short legs in summer, shorts, mini skirts, crop tops, to feel less warm and more comfortable, combining two short legs in one outfit does not always look flattering in terms of silhouette and not always elegant enough in terms of style. Pairing shorts with crop top doesn't look wrong, but a bit risky in terms of silhouette and style. Equal proportions rarely look flattering, especially in contrasting colors. They shorten and widen the silhouette and make the look a little bit boring. A great way to style shorts in summer in a more elegant and flattering way is to pair them with a shirt dress. Shirt dress worn as a layer not only elongates the silhouette, accentuates the waistline and makes you look leaner, but also upgrades your look. You can close one button if you don't want too much exposure or leave it unbuttoned if it gets too hot at the beach, for example. Another way to instantly elevate your look and make it more city appropriate in summer is to balance up the length of your bottom, the hemline, with the length of your sleeves. In the first example, I paired shorts with a white tank top, which is the most obvious way to style them in the hot weather. Again, it's not bad, but quite basic and more appropriate for the beach. If I only swap top for a silk shirt, which is even lighter and more breathable than a jersey tank top, I immediately elevate my outfit and make it city appropriate. Long sleeve tops in combination with short bottoms balance up the silhouette and make you look more elegant and put together. Likewise, combining sleeveless tops with longer bottoms looks more interesting and well balanced. When it comes to summer styling, a lot of us tend to forget about the power of accessories. Some women don't want to overdress in hot weather, others can't simply bear them on their bare skin when it's boiling hot outside. In either case, we should not forget about a wide variety of different summer accessories, scarves and hats included. Here's the example of summer outfit without any accessories. White tank top paired with white flared skirt. Looks quite boring and a little bit undone. To elevate my look, I swapped white tank top for a black one to bring a bit of contrast, added texture, a raffia hobo bag, and to upgrade it even more, I added a straw hat with black piping. I also added some jewelry on top, et voila, my French Riviera outfit is ready! As you see here, I used accessories in all my outfits, and they instantly elevate all of them. It is important to go for high-quality, hyperallergic metals when you wear jewelry in summer to avoid any irritation. It doesn't need to be gold, but for a male, for example, it's definitely more affordable and no less stylish option. So tell me, what is the easiest way to elongate this silhouette and create really fresh, stylish summer look? without putting extra layers or extra effort to it. Exactly, going for a matching summer set. Matching sets are my favorite option for summer. They allow you to look really stylish and put together without having a thought about how to match top and bottom. However, there is one nuance I'd like to emphasize. Instead of going for printed matching sets, which quite often add extra bulk and may look a bit overwhelming, go for solid colors. This way you create beautiful elongated silhouette and look stylish while keeping it simple. The one I'm wearing is from Zara and I really love it. And because the color is already quite bold, I toned it down with shoes and back in neutral white. Et voila, that's it for today. Please let me know in the comments what is your favorite look when it comes to really boiling hot weather. Thank you for watching and I will see you next Sunday. Bye!